Welcome to Tokyo. We're in Tokyo. I still can't believe it. Yeah, we've been here for a few days and every day we're just like walking down the street like how the frig are we back in Tokyo? We've been eating loads of awesome food, hanging out with our friends who live here, mm -hmm. exploring, playing games. I don't know, we've just been doing everything. It's just friggin' awesome. But anyway, let's go check this place out. Yeah. Okay, so we thought we would kick off Tokyo starting in Akihabara, which is known as Electric City. This place is crazy with lights. It's known to be the mecca of otaku culture, which is like anime, manga, video games, electronics, basically retro stuff. I I'm gonna be honest, guys, I think we're both big nerds. <laughs> yeah. So we're super pumped to be here. I'm excited to show you that, do whatever we can do here, and I'm excited. Me too. Let's go. It's a scam. It's not a scam. It's a scam. I've won in the past. Our friends, have, like loads of people we know won. You can win these games. I just don't know how much money needs to be put in them to win. Guys, this is a slippery slope. Are we doing 100 more? What I have. One. You've got three. Okay, let's, let's waste it. Okay, so we failed miserably in there, but these are all over Tokyo, so we're definitely gonna play these machines more. I believe that we're gonna win one. I know that we could buy plushies for cheaper in a shop, but it's not about the plushies, it's about yeah. having fun. Also have a limit to your spending. Yeah, we had coins, the coins are gone, so. Better luck next time. Yeah. Yay. Akihabara is not just the Korean machines but also these uh, what are they called? Gashapon machines and basically you can pretend that you're trying to win something but every time you put money on it to win Ooh. but uh, we're trying to find a Pokemon on it guys they have so much random stuff here I've seen a rooster a gecko like you want to show people all the weird stuff you can get Kili, these look, they've got a thermostat what the flip a model computer Really? Oh, that's cute. Really? I just bought you a dancing cat. Oh my goodness, no you didn't. I did. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, I want it. How do I open it? I don't know if he's joking and this is like a, a train or something. Oh my goodness, it actually is a cat. Oh my goodness, it is a cat. It actually is a cat. <laughs> I'm so excited. I mean, I'm in love. <laughs> Thanks, Ian. No worries. <laughs> Perfect. What a legend. It's just what you need. It's just what you needed. Oh, guys, these machines are full of so much random stuff. I'm, I'm chuffed with that. Obviously, Philly's gone for the weird chicken. This is the one I wanted. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with our random senior <laughs> task. <laughs> <laughs> this kind of encapsulates our personalities quite well. It does, it does. Is this shrine called? I don't remember. I'll have to look it up and tell you when we get inside. Okay. So this place is Kandamyojin Shrine, which is a Shinto shrine that's nearly 1300 years old. And now that it's been moved to Akihabara at night, it's all lit up and stuff. It's been moved to Akihabara? Yeah, it used to be somewhere else in the 1600s. It was moved to this position. It's a lot of work. Yeah, let's go in and get the vibes. There's a random horse over here. This is the guy with the horse. I love this country. I think he's just 
taking his horse for a walk. <laughs> Why not? If you had a horse, you'd have to take it for a walk. I'd be taking. I'll be walking around with an oil on my head, a horse, and a cat on my shoulder. And I'm just gonna be loving. Just I'm covered. Just, you'll be covered in animal shit. I'm just moving to Tokyo and getting random animals. Before we go hit the shops, I'm obviously hangry as always guys, this girl be hungry. So I'd read about this place that does temple cuisine, which is like what the Buddhist monks eat as far as I understand and it's all plant based so totally vegan friendly. I'm gonna just check the name of it hang on. So this one's called Komaki Shiokudo. I'm excited to try it, you get loads of little dishes and stuff so. Wow, how are you gonna eat all that? Feast. Look at this. I did not expect all this food. Yeah, there was a smaller plate option and I was like, no, go for this one. I'm hungry and now it's here. I'm like, okay, that's quite big. <laughs> wow. Also guys, we've been recently schooled about chopstick, chopstick etiquette. So normally if I haven't finished with them, I just set them on the table. Apparently this is not okay. And you get these little things like different decorations. This one's a stone that you rest your chopsticks in. Okay, so so there you go for anyone coming here. That Let's would go. be a little tip. Let's go. So tell us what, what do we have? I'm gonna be honest, I don't fully know. Okay, just I know, make it up. I know make we've got up. miso soup. I'm oh. not sure what this is. I don't know if that's a dessert or it looks savory. I'm not <laughs> I don't know. Okay, well I taste this first because yeah, it yeah. looks the scariest. That's exactly the quality you want in your food. Scary. What do you think? Savory or sweet? I guess. Spam. I don't know what it is. I mean it just tastes neutral. I think it's savory. <laughs> I think the monks are healthy. <laughs> I think so too. What's your favourite bit? Obviously the deep fried is the thing that you love the most. I'm not joking, this is heaven on earth. This tastes like a chicken nugget. That's not chicken. <laughs> I need to learn what it is because I need to cook this in my life. Yeah, it's pretty cool to like imagine Buddhist monks like just sitting eating all this. But this is like the food that they eat in temples, you know what I mean? That's quite cool. Some of it's weird. Some of it is weird. Like some of it is like baby food. Yeah, this is worth coming to. I think each one of these platters is like nine pound. Would that be right? 1760 yen, so whatever that is in your conversion rate. But it's worth the experience coming and enjoying it. It's pretty cool and it's a lot of food. Yeah, I'm full, but I'm gonna keep eating because this thing's divine. <laughs> How insane is this place? I know, I love it. It's that. so awesome. Yeah. Like it just tickles all of my, I don't know, tech and geek and nerd needs. Yeah. And we're gonna go hit the shops now. Not that we even need anything, but just because it's the experience shops here, of it. Yeah, they have so many floors, so much tech stuff. I just wanna go look. Yeah, and it is called Electric City for yeah. a reason. Yeah, it is. Electric Town because of the amount of tech stores that are in the mm -hmm. area. And there's like little markets that are full of like electrical components. You had the iconic Sega stores when you just got off at Akihabara Station, and they've now changed. Which is quite sad. I think I know. it was always quite iconic to see yeah, that. Yeah, the but big Sega store. Now it's a Gigo. Like, yeah. what even is Jigo? Jigo? I don't even know what that is. Gigo? Not Sega. I want Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> you have Sonic? <laughs> I wore my Sonic t-shirt for the Sega buildings and they're not here anymore. Okay, let's go, my love. No, oh, rub that out, rub that out, rub that out, rub that out. Oh my goodness, this man, unbelievable. So we're in Radio Centre right now, which is full of like loads of little stalls of tech stuff. I've already seen like Pokemon cards and everything. I just thought it was going to be all cables, but so far I'm like, this place has got everything. That is bright. That's awesome. They are bright. It says CD Ox. And it's got all these little lights. Like, what is this thing? Why does it look so cool? So we came back to the shrine, the one that had all the LED lights, expecting to see an Electric City show. But I think it must have been for like that one night only because now it's back to the original lanterns, but it's still super beautiful.
So we have absolutely loved our time in Akihabara. Akihabara. I'm probably saying it wrong for the millionth time. There's so much more to see even here, but we're gonna have to leave you guys there. We're gonna be exploring so much more of Tokyo. Make sure you come back. We're so excited to share it all with you and see it through our eyes and I had a great time. I also had a great time. Yeah. But we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Peace.